Well, hello and welcome to Fat Squatch Games. That's right, we've got another awesome battle for you. This is a Confederation Fat Squatch battle, that's right. And actually, this is a battle that I had that I really wanted to share. It was right before I actually ranked up to 14. I'm playing with, excuse me, and we're going up against OPB672 and Percival. 246589281. Whoa, okay. The, these guys... Uh, we had some fun. That was right. We had a good time. We had a good time. Good teamwork. So let's jump into the battle and check it out. Make sure you got plenty of popcorn and soda and enjoy the ride. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ice Chains. Gotta love this map. Now, I was not by the water. And dang it, I like to be by the water. But my partner was by the water, so I had to do something a little different. And uh, as you know, uh, I am a rank 13. These guys are 16s. And so I had to move pretty quick. So basically, I'm getting down my barracks. Here we go. And my plan is to go to fortresses. You know how much I love my fortresses. I don't know about you, but uh, if you don't upgrade those fortresses, you are crazy. Crazy. Couldn't believe when I started playing my Confederation account how amazing that unit was. Okay, here we go. Trying to scout it out. I'm gonna gold boost. You betcha. I do. I think I do um, gold boost and maybe some other boosts, like maybe red and blue too. I don't, I'm not sure. I can't remember. But here we go. We're gonna get those containers. Come on, get them. Here we go. Yeah, there's one. There we go. Yes. Okay. I think I get a couple of these. There's another one. Yeah. Come on. Oh, I guess I'm gonna come back to that one. And I'm moving my way over to the right side of the map. My partner went up to that top left corner, I think, and got that one. There we go. I'm really, I'm trying to grab the ones that are going to be close to the enemy here. Yeah, get it. Get it. Yes. Okay. So I was able to grab quite a few of the containers, actually, in that top right corner. And we got a coyote. Ooh, right to coyotes, huh? Okay, red. So, yeah. Let's see. There's a container right there, too. He probably already got it, though. No, oh, it's still there. It's still there. And I've got one right above my base. I think I let my partner get that one. I'm not... Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Oh, and he got it. Dang it, Red. You and your coyotes. Okay. So now, I see he's got coyotes, and he's also got some assaults. So I'm going to get some... Uh, i got to get my factory up, upgrade my HQ, getting another supply center up. More power, there we go. Yeah, let's get the party started. Okay. If this is your first time watching a Fat Squatch battle, please don't forget to join us on the live streams. We have a lot of fun. And you can play with Fat Squatch. You can even get some tokens. That's right, we do promo code giveaways during the live stream. And just have fun playing Art of War 3 and PUBG. Yeah, here we go. Oh, man. You can see, uh, got that third supply up. And I am throwing up a bunker. But that coyote's already made his way over here. And he's scouting me out. Okay, going around the outside, the edge of my base here. Sneaky, sneaky resistance. But here comes a fortress. Yeah. All right. Okay. We made it down to that bottom right-hand corner of the map there. Oh, but we got caught. <laughs> okay, we got caught. Blue, come on, baby. I can do this. I got that bunker up, so hopefully we won't have any more uh, scouts coming that way. But got a fortress. Here we go. Green has been busy building a beautiful base over there. And he's not going to the water. He's got couple factories and looks like four supply centers five supply centers yeah good job green excuse me yeah hammers coming out okay 
So he's going hammers and I'm going fortresses. It's a good combo, good teamwork. We, had, we didn't really talk a whole lot, but yeah, I believe actually, did I actually, was, I think this was a random actually, maybe, a random encounter, if I remember correctly. All right, upgrading. Oh, building another factory, yeah. We we'll go with my first factory, so two factories. Start popping out some more units. Going on five minutes, and here come those dang coyotes. Killing my assaults. Dang it. So I know there's something coming. Some kind of a coyote rush. Or coyotes and some maybe some riflemen. Dang it. Okay. So I've decided to go, obviously, like I said, fortresses. My fortresses are fully upgraded at a rank 13 and 14. But here we go. Look at that coyote making his rounds. He's gone all the way around my partner space. My partner's trying to chase him down with those hammers. Come on, Bunker. Oh, just outside of the reach there. And yeah, I can see riflemen up there. And I know I'm, go I know I'm doing the right thing here. And so far it's been coyotes and riflemen. And my fortresses can handle that. Let's see what happens. Affirmative, affirmative. Yes. Okay, more fortresses. Here we go. Yeah. And we're gonna move up to the top because I had a feeling they were trying to sneak around, possibly come across the top. Moving up a little bit. Okay. And he says, move to point F. So I moved down to point F. I'm always a team player most of the time, especially if you're a higher rank. I'll try to do my best to cooperate and listen, obviously. Okay. So he is, yeah. Wanted me to be right there. I'm like, okay. I wanted to make sure though, nobody was coming across that top part of the base. So I did send a unit up there to make sure. Okay. And you can see we haven't scouted out the enemy really. But based on what we've seen so far, that's what we got. So I'm now, oh, it looks like I have some hammers. Okay, I'm putting out hammers on that second factory. My partner's got Vertex on the way and he's upgrading uh, another factory there. Okay, here we go. That second factory there that's being upgraded looks like it's going to Zeus, possibly. Okay, all right. Here we go. Now, now we got some activity right up there in that top right part of the map. And he set his hammers up to my base. Because most of the time, that that base where I'm at, that, that location there, is usually the, the base that gets attacked first. We'll see what happens. We'll see if the resistance goes to the water. Um, usually I would go to the water if I was next to the water, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. Oh yeah, they're stalling. That's right, I was laughing because they were stalling. I could tell that they were, they were waiting and stalling, which made me feel pretty good. It means that they're trying to figure out what they want to do. So, I thought, well, it's a good idea to move in. He's, you can tell he's got snipers. Snipers are sniping my guys, and they're just slowly moving in. And we're just sitting here, so I, I wanted to go ahead and move forward. Yeah, and he said, point A. I said, affirmative. So, I've got my max CP for level two uh, headquarters, 48, and I'm gonna go ahead I've got my guys here. I've got enough guys, I believe, to do some damage. He's got his hammers right there, and he's got a first his first vertex, so uh, he can scout B for me. And that's what I want him to do: is take that vertex and scout us, scout it out for me. Come on, come on, buddy. Yeah, another vertex. There we go. Uh, he decides to go down to Yellow's base, 
Pope's got out yellow. See what he's got going on down there. And I'm moving. I decided to move towards the snipers. See if I can clear them out. I've got fortresses, so I'm feeling pretty good. Dragonfly, what? So he's taken out. Uh, or actually, yellow got. I don't. I don't know if yellow did. Yellow get rid of his factory, his uh, naval factory, or did my partner? No, my partner did not destroy that factory. Wait, that's weird. Okay. All right, here we go. So we've got another supply up, and I'm putting up a special vehicle factory. Okay. Very good. Now my guys are in position. I'm wanting to move here. I want Vertex, please. Please scout this area. Thank you. Yes. Give me some eyes in the sky. Okay. Oh, and he's just clearing out. Oh, he came in there in the water. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at that. We've got Dragonfly. Yes. Get those Dragonfly. These Resistance players actually did some different things I hadn't seen in a while. The dragonfly and the snipers too um, which is pretty cool all of those snipers the snipers and those uh, infantry in the forest right there a lot of forest right there and we're able to see them now because they're firing and I'm gonna go in there and just kind of try to clear some of those out real quick yeah there we go we don't need them sneaking up from behind us and yeah, he, he wants to keep moving, so he's gonna keep moving. I'm gonna be right behind him. I'm gonna let him go in first. He's kind of right in front of me. With those hammers. I believe he's got more units at his base, but for now it's mostly my guys. So we're gonna keep on moving down and see what happens. I've got my headquarters being upgraded now. He's got Dragonfly attacking his factory. He needs some anti-air. That anti-air is too far away to reach those Dragonfly. They're just outside of range here of that AA. Okay, here we go. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Charge. Let's see what uh, Red's got. Now, Red's got snipers. Red's got the... Uh, the Grenadiers too, which I'm waiting on my fortresses. So I'm gonna go right down, I'm gonna go along this side there. I know if I keep my hammers moving, my fortresses are right behind my hammers. And they can take out a lot of those uh, infantry units. Come on, let's keep them moving. Now here come all the fortresses behind my hammers here. And now, now that I've got like a line, I'm gonna move across the base, just like this, there we go. There we go. Move right across the base and clear out the snipers and the infantry. He's got some porcupine. He had a couple coyotes, but that was about it. So, looks like they have plans to do something else. And they were just trying to make sure I wasn't coming down. But I have plenty, plenty with my fortresses here and my hammers. Here come Dragonfly. But his Vertex are able to provide some air support. There we go. Nice. Nice. And we're focusing on that HQ. Nice. All right. So we can take our guys now and move, move down to Yellow's base. We don't want to give Yellow too much more time. There we go. Come on. Yeah. Very nice. So red's out of the picture. Green, gonna hang up up there just in case red pops back up again. And I'm gonna go right for yellow. Here we go. Ah, he has contracts. Okay. So I, I won't destroy the base that quickly. Let's see. I got dragonflies though, trying to take out my hammers, but my fortresses are gonna take down the dragonflies. See what I'm talking about? These fortresses are great, you guys. Man. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And my partner's coming down to assist. And I'm just going to slowly take my time here and take out these buildings. Here we go. 
We got the barracks, there we go, nice. They got the factory too, the power. Oh, more dragonfly. What a pain. We'll take out the dragonfly. Yeah, his fortresses are amazing. Yeah, there we go. Vehicle attack boost, you betcha. I'm outranked, I'm boosting, you betcha, gold boost. I believe my guys right there. There we go. And popping out more units, just in case, you never know. Got him coming down to help out and assist. There we go, reinforcements have arrived. Yes. Yellow. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, when you see him do snipers and grenadiers and they're going heavy on the infantry, that's when you want to stick with the fortress. Make sure you upgrade your fortress, guys. If you if you plan on dealing with the resistance and their infantry, especially like on my resistance side, I love riflemen. I love uh, I like grenadiers too, and even snipers. They're all fully upgraded. So you better have your fortresses upgraded, you guys. Who are in the upper ranks and lower ranks? You better start upgrading that fortress. Max them out. He's totally worth it right at the beginning, too. Pop out a couple fortresses. You don't have to worry about any kind of infantry rush. All right. There we go. Yellow. Nice. Thank you, partner, for coming through with your vertex. Nice. Look at that beautiful base he's got. Yeah. Victory feels good. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that battle. And I tell you what, it's totally worth it to invest in those fortresses. Thank you, excuse me, thank you. And OPB672 and Percival, thank you guys for being the enemy and thanks for doing something interesting like snipers and coyotes and dragonfly. Yeah. Guys, make sure you click on join and become a member so you can get access to all my content. Don't forget to subscribe as well. And you can watch that members only video right there if you're a member. And if you want, watch some of my featured friends, check them out. Yeah, click on that video there and check it out. Thank you guys, and we'll see you all in the next battle.